We are live. Good evening, good evening, everybody. How are you doing? It's very nice to welcome you to a very, very chilly studio here in Stroud, in the heart of the Cotswolds in the UK. We've got two canvases cut, we've got one pair of hands, and I've got a million ideas, and I can't wait to share them with you. So, we'll see you back in 32 seconds after the intro. back on corner cam right we just want to check the audio can everybody hear me okay i hope you can um just got to say a massive thank you to matthew picklesheimer who was already before we even started donated 20 bucks thank you my friend thank you thank you thank you Thank, thank you so much, Matthew. Yes, and God bless you too. Thank you very much indeed. That's enormously kind of you, and we're extremely grateful. I still haven't got my middle bit right with the belt on, even though I've tightened it up. Uh, anyway, never mind. Right, okay. Um, we're going to kill a key in Instagram in just a second. Uh, so what can I tell you? Well, lots of things going on. Most important of all, I've got some new shoes on tonight. Don't panic. They're very, very comfortable. They've been sat in the office for about two years. And because they're Velcro, they just stop my stop me from to stop every five minutes and do my laces up. I'm just going to try the new shoes tonight. See how we get on there. Could be my lucky shoes. They could be my unlucky shoes. Who knows? Could be peaches. Could be tuna. Let's just go with it. Right. I'm going to press the live button on Instagram and welcome everybody. We're going to do lots of shout outs this evening. Hopefully, we're going to have a huge amount of fun, uh, especially with the new shoes. <laughs> right. Okay. Welcome everybody on Instagram. If you're just joining me, hopefully all systems are go. It's second one after Christmas, and we've ironed out all the technical gremlins. Fingers crossed, hopefully so far. Let's say a massive welcome to Adia in control. How you doing, matey? Come on the line and say hello to hello. everybody. I'm here. How are you? I asked you first. Well, that's really mature. Sorry, bit of Grinch. Love that film. I love that film. <laughs> hello, everybody. How are we all doing? See, we've got a few people in Florida, sunny Florida. That would be nice because it's about zero here, uh, as in degrees. I don't know what that is in Fahrenheit, but it's zero degrees it, C. It's 32, mate, I can tell you that now. 32, 32. degree F, yes, yeah. Fahrenheit. It, it feels like <sighs> about zero Fahrenheit as well. It is cold. My, I can't feel my feet. No, I can't either. I can't feel your feet either. <laughs> Good, I'm glad about that. <laughs> right, okay, folks, are we ready to get going? I think we are. Let's uh, let's go have a look at some cameras. Let's do a quick check, and then I'm going to walk and talk you through what's about to happen, because it's very exciting. Lots to do. Off we go. I've done my stretching, as you've just seen. Right, let's go uh, PTZ camera, mate. Yeah, hello, hello, hello. Here I am, rocking me like a hurricane. We've, we've, done, we've done all that. A canvas, canvas down there. Lovely. It's got a few marks on. Don't worry about that. We're going to sort all that. Let's go overhead. Overhead, hello, hello. Yeah, right, there's some canvas again. Back up to me again. Fantastico. Uh, room cam, skadoosh. Oh, Nick, you got me now. Awesome, right, let's go room cam. Keep on room cam, buddy. Right, let's go have a look, folks. I'll try and keep this as steady. Oh, I say, Ed, those are very nice bags, aren't they? We'll talk more about the amazing tote bags and other fantastic things we've got. Ooh, look at that one with the red Suarez on it. Isn't that gorgeous? And look at your mugs. I love a nice couple of mugs, me. Right, everybody say hello to Instagram. There we go. We're all live everywhere on every platform. Isn't this exciting? Here we go. Two pieces. Of, I don't know where to look first. Here we look there, there, there. Two pieces of canvas tonight. Don't know if we'll get both of them done. We've got 180 by 130 centimetres. No idea what this one is because I didn't bother measuring it. Measuring it. <laughs> it's definitely 180 that way. So finish size 160 centimetres which is uh, five foot uh, nine and a bit. Uh, same with that one, just don't know on the width of that. Right, would you like to see, folks, very important this, I hope you're paying attention, these two experiments, which I've hung up for your visual pleasure. Okay. 
Yes. Are you, are you actually on, are you, at the moment, mate? You're not. Yeah, you, you can come on there for a second, Hello, mate. Yes. yes. So, if there's anybody who's never been here before to the Suarez live channel, we have a large spin table where we can do spin paintings. And we did an experiment, oh, what, just before Christmas? Yeah, I think so, yeah. Yeah, just before Christmas where we put the spin table and we actually put a piece of canvas underneath the spin table to create what we call the halo effect, which you can see on the walls there. But these halo effects were made with something different. Over to you. Right. Well, this box here contains the Suarez patented Spinomatic. And AD, because he's a genius, has built a spin contr a speed controller and a switch and a contained battery. Look, no wires. Look, remote control. Look, it spinneth round. Honestly, it does. There we go. <laughs> no, I haven't broken it. Um, and what we're interested in, as you can see here, folks, is what comes off, not what goes on. We catch what comes off. We don't care about what goes on. Yeah. So we're going to play about with this concept. It goes faster. It, uh, I have to be in front of it. Yeah, etc., etc. So we do we do go much much quicker. No, that's not going up. I've, I've broken it. I've killed the battery. No, it just definitely doesn't want to work now. Okay. Um, it's fine, mate. That'll do. Okay. So we probably need to charge the battery up, which is fine. But look, this is what it does. So imagine, folks, we've got dark canvases, light canvases, graded backgrounds. Then you imagine the colours we can layer over the top. We get these incredible kind of like string-like uh, effects. Then we also get the blobs and the dots which look unbelievable. Then imagine us layering those up as time goes on. So these are just the experiments to go, does it work? Massive yes. Next, we're going to start uh, by actually doing some painting. So next week, folks, you've heard this here first. Let's go corner cam, buddy. Next week, folks, we are going to be doing the world's only live halo paintings. Oh, how does that sound? I'm very excited by that. Can't wait to get going. So do not miss next week. Put a date in the diary. Run and tell all your friends. All right, Instagram, let's move you guys over here. Uh, oh, haven't pressed live yet. Sorry, I thought I had. Oh, that's good, isn't it? Right, live. Oh, no, it threw me out. Right, let's try it again. No, we're having trouble starting your live video. I can't stream on Instagram because Instagram won't let me. Checking connection. Checking connection. We are having trouble starting your live video. Right, let's start again then. Let's start that again. Two seconds, everyone. Checking connection. Oh, I am now live. Hello. No, you're telling your far as you... Right, okay, we are now live and live on Instagram. Right, okay. Oh, love a bit of tech, don't you? We're going to be doing lots of shouts out this evening, folks. The gloves are going on. We're about to start painting. Hello and welcome, Instagram, if you've just joined us. I thought I'd press the button, uh, which I had several times, and it said, I'm sorry, you're not live. Well, we're live now, anyway. Right, folks, let me know in the comments what you think about, especially on YouTube, what you think about the Halo concept. And I'm sure the creative amongst you will be, will be thinking now, oh my goodness me, that's going to look amazing. Yes, it is. It is going to be fantastic. We've never done anything like this before. The principle works. Aidy's machine works. He's yet again done the business. And we've got something unbelievable. And right now, I'm hopefully going to do the same with canvas number one. In we go with the shake of the tins. Let's get those bad boys moving. We are going to be having a chat about all kinds of stuff. I'm going to talk through my processes. A big warm welcome. If you've never seen one of the streams before, we had some visitors pop in earlier. Just passing through on their way to Bristol. I hope you guys are managing to uh, tune in. <clears throat> Please do let us know if you are. And we're going to be going through some chat in just a second. But I would just like to get some paint down onto the canvas, because that's important. Right then, buddy, let's get some... Should we, should we do it? Should we get, finally get some paint on, shall we, before we do the hellos? Right. Do it! Just do it! Yesterday, you said tomorrow. So just do it! Make your dreams come true! Nothing is impossible! No! What are you waiting for? Do it! Just do it! Yes, you can!
Okay. I'm just going to get this on here. Oh, and I'm not going to reveal exactly what's going on just yet. Let's leave that on. Okay, right. <clears throat> so, having done that, every, all systems are go. This is great. Now then, what can we say? Who was who was first in through the door? Let's let's have a little look. Um, <clears throat> and we've got Henry Duhan. I think we had another lady before that, but she's disappeared. Uh, Henry, hello, once again. <laughs> great to see you. Nick a little lot. She was Mercedes. Yes, yes. Uh, <clears throat> she was first. She's disappeared. Uh, Nicola, a warm welcome to you, Nicola, and good day, Suarezians. Uh, says Zane Taylor, who's already in Thursday, uh, <clears throat> being on that side of the world. Chris Amadahi. Um, ciao a tutti dall'Italia. Si. Uh, hello, Chris. <laughs> I don't know how to say hello even. Terrible, isn't it? Oh, you just said ciao. Yes, that's hello. Uh, Aureli Valle, hey, play your magical trip. I am aware. <laughs> Very glad you are aware. So am I. Although it doesn't appear like it some days. Uh, hello, CE and Charlene. Hello, Charlene. Said a massive thank you to Matthew already. Thank you, Matthew. Robert Mungin, Lynn Sutherland, Eleanor, Yona Shearer. Hi, Kim Dell in sunny Florida. Now, is it Lynn who's down in, in snowy Devon? I think it is. Is it Lynn? I'm not sure. I'm sure you mentioned that. I'm sure I've seen that somewhere. Nelson is here as well. Funny Fox. Hello, Suarezians. Hello, Ed and AD. Hello to you, Funny Fox. Um, so back to get a little uh, back soon. And we've got Opa Shout YouTube from Germany. Uh, yes, who said. Hello, my dears. Best regards from Germany. Uh, danke and guten Tag. <laughs> I've been practicing. Uh, Lee Archer says it's 66 degrees here in NY in New York City. Uh, is that is that and yes, NC? It must be New York, isn't it? It's normally NY. Um, so uh, what have we got there, Zane? Oh, Samir, hello. Uh, each time you finish a wonderful paint, it looks glossy. What do you use? I don't use anything. Actually, it's all built into the paint, Samir. Wonderful. North Carolina. Sorry, Lee. Of course, my apologies. Uh, the Rita. Ooh. Binomatic and Denise says hello Suarez Wednesdays Sandy McGill V hello everybody hello V Emmanuel Power first time back in a while yes where have you been uh, Global Adventure Productions give us a wave Maria hi from Sweden and Andrea hi from Argentina are we fully up to date yes we are let's get some paint moving okay. North Carolina sorry Lee I should know by now shouldn't I I've got to have to learn a bit more geography, I think. Right, we've got all of the paint from that nice rich burgundy chocolate. So let's get you guys of Insta Move around here. Thank you all for being here. Uh, that's Carla Mullion. Hello from Germany. Denweb81. Hello, Dennis. Pilchar, Cloudy, Colo. Hello. Sorry, can't accept your uh, requests to be in the live. It's only because it reduces the amount of space I've got available on the screen. It's the, so uh, that's all. Otherwise, I won't be able to see anything that's going on. <laughs> so we can place you where you can see. Hopefully, that's all right. Right, we're going to get this paint moving around, folks. Oh, yeah. Come on. Now, I'm tempted to use my roller. Yes, here we go. It's roller time. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Oh, I can't sing on. We'll get demonetized like we did earlier. Thank for, for a song that apparently we had a Shakira song, according to YouTube, in one of the videos. Yeah, okay. Pretty sure we didn't. All right, okay. Let's move some paint. Oh yeah, let's get it moving. Mm -mm. Stay up here, work my way around. This is just a base coat, folks. I like the rollers. Rolls are good. I can spread. I get a lot of control with a roll. Roller. Let's move these around in some interesting shapes. Oh yeah. I'm feeling all like uh, like going the pink end of the spectrum. We've got pinks and reds. Yeah, something like that. Um, been popping a few new paintings over on Instagram and on social medias. Don't know if you've managed to see those yet. Actually, I might put a bit of gold in there. Um, some really nice uh, paintings coming through at the moment. And the big news, everybody. We are now .com. Da -da 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 -da. Yep. 
<laughs> yes. <Say what? laughs> we have, thank you, Stewie Griffin. We have now moved the entire site to, to the dot com address. We are now SuarezArt.com. All the amazing things that you would know and love are still present. All that is still pretty awesome. I've made some big improvements to the site. I've done it all by myself. <clears throat> Um, so, there's a link in the chat now, there's also one down in the description. Uh, just go and have a look, see how it should be done. I'm uh, very, very pleased, incredibly pleased uh, with what we've done. Uh, it does look amazing. I'm just now waiting for Google to uh, transfer all the goodness from the current site over. Uh, but it is now done. So, uh, lots of reasons for that, which I won't bore you with, because it's got nothing to do with painting. Ah, oh, hello, Jackie. Uh, no, I'm not going to auction off my old paint shoes. They can stay for a while. Uh, tempting, though, isn't it? Uh, yeah. Tell you, tell you what, I'll give them away when we hit 100,000 subs. How's that? So, a uh, little while to go yet. You know, the world of YouTube is a crazy place. Let's just change rollers. Uh, but, yeah, I guarantee we'll, we'll do a massive giveaway when we get to 100,000 subs. Um, so, uh, please, you know, I'm going to go around this side now, buddy. Uh, please do help us get to... Uh, 100,000 subs, that would be amazing. Um, yeah, we're very proud of what we do here. We work phenomenally hard, make a lot of sacrifices uh, to run our business the way we do. And we were out yesterday in London, and we've got three, actually now, as of earlier, three jobs booked for next week. Plus a live stream. We're going to have literally have a day and a half in the business. The rest of the time we're out delivering amazing paintings to amazing clients. We're really, really proud of. Um, so we continue to push we continue to work extremely hard maybe too hard some sometimes but hey it's what we know the passion drives us the kind of people we are and i'm very proud of that so yeah it's all very very busy plus the secret sculpture project plus the halo paintings plus prepping for the live stream plus running social media and running a business and trying to plan for the future and doing a dot-com change <laughs> oh my goodness me and shooting videos and running a youtube channel and all the other things and it's still just it than me so uh we put a lot of time and effort into this folks as i know that the regulars amongst you will know and it's something we are uh we're very very proud of being able to do right okay so uh all good so far i was tempted oh i don't know should the orange go in no i don't, I don't think it should actually we need we need some more red i'll tell you what i am going to do uh, more on PT said. I am going to drop some silver in because I think we need some silver somewhere. Now we're only on the base coat, but we're moving fairly quick, sweet folks, because <clears throat> I want to try and do the other one as well. The other one's going to be really quite interesting as well because the eagle eyed amongst you might have spotted that there is some canvas at either end. Actually, buddy, worry on PT said. Can you scoot around to your right, if you don't mind? And just show everybody the uh, the ends. Oh, cheers, Zane. Zane's got to go. The aura, Zane. All right, take it easy, man. We'll catch you later. So yeah, so we've got uh, basically over here. We've got an, uh, two ends. Now I don't know if you can guess what the ends are for, but they are here for a reason. All will be revealed. You can't go anywhere. You've got to keep watching, and I'll show you why there's canvas at both ends. Let's bring our friends of Instagram around where you can see what I'm doing as I work my way around the canvas. Uh, painting underscore Mia, Claudia CR underscore three, Robert, uh, Rob Roberto Sequia, uh, Rubin Amalia. Thank you guys for being here. It's very nice to see you. Ah, so Lynn says if we're anywhere near, we're near Hatton Gardens, pop in and say hi. Uh, Monday we were, I don't think a million miles away, were we, mate? We, we were Ealing. Good blimey, Governor. Were you? Yeah, we were in Ealing. Uh, where are we on Monday? Uh, Beaconsfield on Monday. And I'm trying to think where we are Tuesday. Uh, Kingsham in Bristol on Tuesday. And then on Friday we'll be in Bury St Edmunds. Now we do get to see a lot of this country of ours and also abroad. Um, maybe at some point we'll tell you about our experiences trying to send paintings to Ireland. 
which is uh, <clears throat> quite quite the task these days. <laughs> uh, let's just put it this way: Brexit has not been kind uh, to the exporting of goods and associated processes. But hey ho! Nothing. You lose. Good day, sir. <laughs> I, I think that clip says it exactly how it is. It's uh, it's a nightmare. Uh, anyway, right. I'm going to switch tools now, and I'm just going to start move some of this silver around. And see how a difference look compared to the roller. It makes I'm able to um, to kind of penetrate this into more interesting shapes. Now, I'll tell you another little, for instance, which you oh, sorry something you may not immediately have figured out. Um, overhead here, <clears throat> where the gold, a little bit of gold was, and now the silver. I'm getting this kind of emulsifying effect. Um, now, because the gold is from a different manufacturer, when it hits the silver and the other paints, it tends to have a reaction, uh, which can either be a hindrance or it can be an absolute godsend. So I'm trying to turn it into the latter at the moment. I just want to work some of these paints around a little bit, just get them kind of moved in as we move towards the centre. We're going to do something great and big in the middle of it. Uh, Excuse me, but I just need these colours to kind of blend in a little bit more. We're going to make some nice, interesting shapes out of them. Hello, Enjo. Oh, very good question. Yes, please, by all means, folks, please do ask as many questions as you can. We love it uh, when you've got questions. Um, John Morano turned up. Uh, so, hello, John. Albert Tatlock, greetings to you. Good friends. So, NJ, what got me into art? Well, is that what you are? Sorry, what got me into it? Um, very, very odd, actually. Um, for 20 years, I've been into martial arts and used to help run a ladies' self-defense class. And instead of beating it, each other up, well, I say each other, it was me who was the human punch bag, uh, the uh, lady instructors decided that on one day, we'd all get some paints or some charcoal or whatever we want and just chill out in the dojo but that's what we did i bought some very very cheap paint materials from the local shop definitely need some more pink over here and uh instead of uh doing the normal karate and self-defense based things we all had a very very chilled time and i created with the very first time i've used paints it was back in 2007 and i absolutely loved it and it's as simple as that that's what happened uh and from there it just grew um, I just knew I, I liked it straight away, and I thought, this is good, isn't it? Um, and here we are today with <laughs> over 750 paintings on all four continents in 40 countries, and it's all been done in the two of us. So that's how I first got into arts. It was an accident. And Joe, brilliant question, but it was complete fluke. That's all it was. And without that, I may never, ever have discovered this. So, um, lots of things to be grateful for in this world. And that, most definitely, is one of them. Uh, Shotokan, very good. Yep, yeah, very familiar with that. I did karate, very, very pure and, and brutal, if I may say so, form of it, uh, called Bushido Karate. And, um, yeah, thoroughly enjoyed it, up until the point it got a bit like a cult, and then I left. But one day... I think when I'm old and grey, and in my Jackie Chan prime, I might, uh, I'd love to open a martial arts school. I mean, I really would. That would just be awesome. Um, always wanted to shoot some self-defence videos for putting onto YouTube, but uh, like so many things, I am, there's only so much of it, and I never ever seem to have enough to do what I want to do with this, let alone be the next Bruce Lee. So maybe I'll have to go on the back burner until I'm retired. <laughs> Hey, Wand Wizard, it has been a long time coming to a live, but you made it. And we're all very, very glad and much better for it that you're here. Thank you for joining us. Uh, oh, great question. Oh, you guys are on fire tonight. How did, how did me and Aidy meet? Um, well, I, a very long time ago, used to have a retail career. Can you believe that? Talk about a round peg in a square hole. And... Uh, my Aidy's wife uh, was uh, one of my employees um, at one of the stores I went to. Now, this store happened to be happened to be there quite a little, quite a, quite a while, and um, 
uh, Aidy would pop in and uh, got talking to him and we just struck up one of those instant kind of friendships and that's kind of it. We've been friends ever since. Um, you know, it's been a lot of, uh, a lot of things, done a lot of things, but over the years, this has certainly been the one that's the most memorable. And, uh, you know, we, we just keep going from strength to strength. Um, so Rita, well, and I'm not going to embarrass the man there because he'd be like, oh, Ed, why did you have to say that? Don't panic, mate. <laughs> but he has the most incredible ethic as a human being, not just in terms of, of his passion and uh, input and problem-solving skills, practically, mentally, otherwise, but, you know, how he is to me as a human being is, is quite unlike anything I've ever experienced um you know and he is i'll say it to his face he is the most incredible human being and um i'm extremely privileged to have him in my world and no you can't have him he's mine <laughs> so there you go let's have a bit of a 80 worship for a minute shall we mm. ah robert great question um so have i ever been to the us yes yes i've been there quite a few times 80 used to live there uh, and do I have any plans to come soon? Well, that entirely depends if people start buying more paintings. Uh, the simple answer to that, Robert, is I hope so. Uh, one of the reasons we've switched to the dot com and put two, I put two weeks of solid work and enormous amounts of stress into it, is uh, that we hope is that we come up more in uh, in search results. Uh, well, internationally, but predominantly uh, over in the American market. So um, it is predominantly for that reason and uh you know i'm hoping that that will happen so yeah if we do get over um i'll let some of you guys know and uh you know we might, might even be able to have a little secret suarez meet up somewhere in, you know in a, in a baskin robbins or a dunkin donuts or something <laughs> be cool that would be awesome wouldn't it i'd love that oh dear thank you for the questions guys they're absolutely brilliant and i appreciate it okay Right, let's get some glove changes going on and we'll figure out the next bit let's have a look let's have a look on Rome cam i'll give you a little look very shortly uh, nini tableau hello uh, anya von hof one and itx fatima hello oh sorry just somebody asked me something called ferrara as well where do you get your ideas in deborah art design create your different artworks i i don't know thank you nini uh, i don't know where i get my ideas from i just constantly we're always just thinking about stuff, you know, what can you do with stuff? <laughs> ah, Kim, lovely question, Kim, thank you. What, uh, what, what, what was it that made me want to just do large pieces of art? I'll be honest with you, Kim, I'll put this at my face now, because I could charge more money for them. That was it, that back in 2007. However, within a couple of years, I'll, I'll tell you this, and this is the God, absolute truth. It became quite evident um, that smaller canvases I couldn't do. The things I was thinking of in my head, I just couldn't do on small canvases. So I had to try and save up enough money to buy bigger canvases. And I was working two jobs and all the rest of the stuff just to fuel this kind of, you know, need to want to go bigger and better and just to see what was possible. And I started looking at documentaries online and things on the BBC. And there were all these amazing artists from the past doing things on giant canvases. And I thought, oh, I would love to do that. And it's just kind of stuck ever since. So, Henry, what a great question. You guys are on fire. Thank you so much for the questions. Let's get some more gloves on because we're going to start with the centre now. So, Henry asking uh, about art classes. Do I, did I take art classes at school? Um, no. Absolutely none. Uh, art classes, definitely not. Uh, and that is because I can barely write my own name, let alone uh, <laughs> do anything else. No, I was never offered it here. I had no interest in it. All of this, everything that we've come to, to this point you are at now in time and space, was simply because of that one day in July 2007. That is where all this comes from. I have got no art training, absolutely nothing. So this comes purely from a position of discovery that's all really i can say guys this is self-discovery fascinated by the what if and a refusal to give up on life um and that's what's drawn us to uh to this put us both together in this situation and uh 
hopefully with us trying to do something extraordinary uh, out of the other side of it. Right, okay, let's get the cream undone. Thank you, Joseph. I'm glad to see you're enjoying it. Excellent, I'm enjoying it too. So far, so good. Now, I'm just going to resurrect some of this off-white down here. Just, uh, ah, that's what I want. There it is. So, Wand Wizard, yes, 34 thumbs up. 70 of you watching. Right, guys, yeah, let's give us a nice big thumbs up. Whatever device you're watching on, be it a smartphone, be it a tablet, be it a PC, even if you're lucky enough to watch on a massive flat screen TV, grab your remote, tap the screen. Well, let's have a nice big thumbs up. Tells Google's bots that you're really enjoying what you're doing and what we're doing. Hopefully that gets us on a fast track to 100,000 subs. So with your help, guys, we can do it. We're going to give away tons of stuff at 100,000 subs. We're not that far off. Come on, I'm, I'm not kidding. We're going to be having a massive giveaway. What, what, what can I say? Do you want free stuff, everybody? Because if you want free stuff, help us get to 100,000 subs. Spread this on your social media. Look, I'll be as completely like that as I can. That's what it needs. It needs everybody to get behind this because we're going to have a tremendous giveaway when we get to that point. It's all possible. I never even thought we'd get this far. So look, this is the important thing, isn't it? We, we just keep on pressing on. On goes the cream. Going to put a big dollop of that in the centre. Ooh, delicious. Now I've got that all over my hands because I had to fish out a giant bit of skin. So let's just get these gloves changed again. Uh, MJ, I'm waiting for the paint splashes. Oh, yes. <laughs> Nicola. Oh, I'm going to miss that. Albert Tatlock, has anyone mentioned your new shoes? Yes, Albert, my new shoes. They've got Velcro on them. Means that my laces don't come undone. Hurrah! Uh, Donna from South Carolina, do you make the frames for, to go around your pieces? Well, no, I don't put frames around them, but we do stretch them around frames. Slightly different thing. Um, Lynn, I hope you get. I get to pop up to Stroud before we run off to the USA. Don't worry. Don't worry, you will do. Um... <clears throat> Is this true? Such a painting in only 30 minutes. Well, great question. Who asked that question? Uh, CE? Yes, but if you think about it, it's 13 years and, well, 15 years and 20 and 30 minutes, really, isn't it? That's what it is. Let's run for gold. I'm going to get the gold out. Um, you know, there's a lot of practice goes into this. You don't, uh, you don't see someone on a, playing a, a piano on a, uh, at some, you know, concert, um, playing some classical music, thinking, well, it only took them five minutes to play Rachmaninoff. And you don't see the 30 years that have gone before that. Uh, and it's a similar thing with this. It's it's a great observation to make. Oh, it's only 30 minutes. Uh, but actually, there is there's 15 years that goes into every single painting, which is the kind of the way I look at it. Um, right, OK, if I can just find the thing that opens the paint, I'll have to paint it every week a different colour so I can find it. Oh well, <clears throat> it's definitely here somewhere. Let's uh, let's press on. I'll just grab the screwdriver and uh, see if I can get the lid off with that. Right, we're going in with some gold. I'm opening a fresh, well, a fresh air tin of gold anyway. <clears throat> That's better. I tell you what, look at that for a screwdriver. Look at that. <laughs> How about that for a screwdriver? Look. Look how clogged up the end is. Have you ever seen anything like it? That is pure paint. I think I've had this pretty much since about... Yeah, one of one screwdriver. I think I've probably had that since about 2010. And it has pretty much opened most tins of paint. Right, let's get back down onto the canvas. Here we go with the gold. Um, who was waiting for the splashes? Yes, they're about to come, aren't they? Mustn't look at the orange. Stop with the orange yet. It's going to ruin everything. Right, and then we're going to also go with some silver, because I like the way the silver's carving everything down. So let's get a little splodge in the centre. And let's see what's going to happen next. Now then, my tool of choice is going to be quite important here. Oh, Tomiko just joined us as well. Hi, Tomiko. Uh, what did I miss? Uh, I think. Where have you been? <laughs> the new secret spin machine. Why we've got two canvases pinned up, uh, which are those two. Uh, why I've got new shoes. A demonstration of the spinomatic. Uh, what's coming up at 100,000 subs? Where were you? Should have been here. Should have set your alarm. Come on. Come on. Where have you been? 
Just joking. Great to have you here. Right, we're going to give that a little spray. Okay. Whoops, nearly fell over. All right, are we ready to get this moved around, folks? I think we are. Um, actually, there's one thing I need to add to that. Oh, I had you on the edge of your seat then. So, little swadron black. No blue on this one, Robert. Well, I could do, couldn't I? Maybe, maybe, we, well, well, let's see. Let's see, we won't rule it out. Let's just get this moved around. We're going to change the technique a little bit. Are we PTZ, are we, buddy? Great, I'll stay this side and I'm going to go left, right and down the centre, all right? Right, okay, let's have a look. Nice. Can't be scared of the paint. Otherwise, it'll own you. Just got to get in with it. That's fine. Okay. So, so far, so good. I'm going to give that a little spray over there. Kim Bostick is here. Hello, Kim. Finally found time to watch. Well, I'm very glad you were able to join us. It's lovely to see you. You have been missed. All right. Always great to see all our friends popping back, especially when they've not had opportunity for a little while. All right. We're going to pop some skidoo little skadooshes in the middle. I'm going to start opposing the colours now. So the red's going to go up that end. Lovely. Beautiful. It's all going to kind of meet in the middle. Right, so let's pull the pink, eh? And do the pink on the other side. Mm, yes, MJ, it's an interesting one. Yeah, light blue in the middle. Not entirely convinced by that. Henry also suggested the same thing. But now then, let's bring the <coughs> opposing uh, pink. I couldn't think what this was. It's actually magenta, but... Opposing the red. <laughs> yes, Matthew, it's, uh, it's not a screwdriver, it's my magic wand, you're right. There we go. Okay. All good so far. So, next colour we're going to go in with is with black. And I think we're going to put black over to this, the opposing side. So let's see how we get on with that. I'm going to have to step over here a second, though. <sighs> oh, yeah, that was a good one. Like that. Oh, yeah, it's got some legs. Right, okay, Instagram, we're, uh, we're, we're cracking on with this now. It might need an accent colour. This is where we might need to come in with our blue. Not entirely sure. Let's just give myself a moment. I think we're definitely going to have to bring in... The silver's all right, actually. I think... Do you know what? Oh, the copper. Copper is what it needs. Of course it does. I knew it would talk back to me eventually. Let's get the copper out. We're resurrecting this from a different supplier, but it's going to sit on the top. So I'm hopeful. We should be okay. I've just got to get the lid off. This is a bit of a last minute decision, this. Come on. <laughs> Can you get the lid off this paint? This is pathetic, isn't it? Come on. It's not like you paid money to see this, is it? It's a good job, isn't it? Come on. You can... Oh my God. It's literally welded on. Right, see where I've got my screwdriver now. Just bear with. It will come off eventually. Oh, for goodness sake. This is... Come on! Get off! Oh, it's, it's coming, it's coming. Come on. Oh. <clears throat> yes! Oh, I'll give myself a round of applause now. <laughs> wow. Can we see can, can you see that, mate? It, to me, this is a scene out of aliens. <laughs> what is that? That's mental. Oh dear. Isn't that great? Whoa. It's like some primordial soup. Right, okay. Before it goes everywhere. Right, uh, let's get my... That's it. We'll get one of those out. Right, buddy. I'm going to come this side and go towards the bench. It's good and thick, this is. 
No wonder I like it. Ooh, nice. Nice. Right, okay. Fine so far. Let's know. Ooh, golden magma. Yes, Matthew, absolutely. I'll pull the harbour. Drop a load of this. <laughs> Okay, so, interesting. We've got some interesting things going on here. Right, let me just take a little look and see what I need to pop in there now. I, was, I think it was Henry who said about blue, wasn't it? Tempting actually with the blue. And, and, uh, and then Joe, yeah. Let me just take a moment to reflect. What's going on up there? I need to do something down here. So what is it we're going to do, Ed? Come on, think. Think. No, no, it's definitely not blue. I'll tell you what it is. It's silver. I've got an itch right on the top of my eyelid, which is driving me insane. Although, because I'm a consummate professional, I'm trying not to moan about it, but it really does. Uh, are we on overhead, buddy? Roll cameras, okay. Right, I need to just weave in the black. I like the black, but I need to weave in some loops just to try to... Sort of... Oh, this is tricky, isn't it? Right, let's come down here and see where we're at. Let's, let's see, what, see what we can do. Okay, yeah, all right, all right, I like that so far, that's changing things up a little bit. Could I do the same down here, or is that going to spoil it? Yes, it probably is. The center's okay, I don't need any more silver. Uh, hello, Mark Newt. Um, have I used the mirror paint? Not yet, no, but I'm tempted, actually. Um, right, so... Um, Age just talking to me. Yes, I've got spray stuff, mate, I might spray a bit of that. That could look really good, couldn't I? Yeah, yeah, the mirror still. Yeah, so uh, yes, Mark. I uh, think I'm going to queue up some of that because that might look really cool. Oh, what just happened there? Giant piece of stuff flicked off. Oh well, scoop that up. <laughs> that wasn't supposed to happen. Wah, wah. <laughs> I'm going to flick it. Flick it with my scraper. Right. Okay. Slightly uh, impromptu there. Oh, there we are. Look, you'd never know. You'd never know. It's all part of it, wasn't it, folks? <laughs> okay. <laughs> they are definitely birds, no. Right, okay, we've got those. That's fine. Let's just think then. Centre coming out. Have we achieved everything we need to achieve? Black is still okay, but we've lost it a little bit. So let's dive back in. Uh, Maria's given us a thumbs up. The Rita Burgundy. Mm, could be. Blue in the red corner. This is sounded like a boxing match here, Robert. <laughs> uh, nice recovery, says, says Robert. Yeah, thank you. You'd never know I messed up then, would you? Right, let's get a little skadoosha black going on in here. We need to add something just here. Let's get a few, few musical notes going. Look, there we go. It's like a symphony. Oh, that's quite, that's quite pleasant. Let's bring it out there. Okay. Ah, lovely. Oh, this is going to dry so just look incredible i think when this is dry i mean how about that for a dramatic piece I'm absolutely loving that so there's i think just one last thing i need to do to that um uh... <laughs> henry i love your adventurousness in the uh, titles the uh the splash o -matic that, that preceded the what was that preceded the spin o -matic. i like it it's, it's very good. Right, while you're on corner, let's just pop... I'm going to just even some of this white up here. See how things are starting to dissolve? But that's fine. Just very free. I love I love the free technique here. It's quite liberating. We're adding, we're adding. I know it's all one layer, but it's fine. I want everything to kind of dissolve and delineate into itself. Don't care about the mess at the moment. Right, let's get the gloves changed. Let's give you a look on Rome Cam. Hello, Miss Prissy. Glad you're enjoying this. Remember to give us a thumbs up, folks. If you're enjoying this. Oh, yeah. Let's go and have a look at a close-up. Insta, stay where you are, because we're going to do the same with you guys in just a moment. Let's dive in. <laughs> yes, see, my shoes do need some colour. Let's dive in and have a look at where we're at so far. That was the rescue. 
which you'd never know was there. Look what's happening here. We've got no special source. This is all purely organically driven uh, from the paints. So silver is starting to maintain its shape, which I'm pleased about. Got some real nice textures in the gold. Things are starting to hot up in the center now. All these neural pathways and loops and swoops starting to take shape. And as you look at it from away, it's all this melee and cacophony of shape and sound going on. I absolutely love it. And every time I try this technique, it's always something different. Let's have a look. Down at the copper strands, even they are starting to get their own personality now. As the paints start to cure... Even the red look, there's so much intrigue and interest going on. You can appreciate it probably looks a little bit orange, maybe, from where you're sitting. But trust me, that's a gorgeous postbox red. Look at that little drop of silver. Just suddenly just appeared. In the centre, look where we have a huge dob of black. Even that's now starting to find its own level. Yeah, I like that. I like that a lot. I might even add a little bit more to that. Um, but so far, I, yeah, that's rather pleasant. I like it. Right, in fact, who was late? Was it Tomiko, was it? There you go, the Suarez Spinomatic. Quite possibly one of the smallest paint machines ever, but it's all fully cable-free, functional and remote control, so we can leave it sat on a canvas uh, without it impeding on anything else. But for now, we're just going to leave that there. Instagram, I'm now going to move you guys over to where you can have a look. Thank you, Peggy Christian. It says, looks fantastic. Let's just give you guys a little look down there at some of the amazing features that are now starting to come out. Let's see. Oh, there we go. Ah, Nicola's got to go. Her four-year-old's decided it's bedtime. So thank you. Oh, wakey, wakey time. Sorry. Thank you very much for being here, Nicola. Um, hopefully uh, you can catch the other painting on the replay. Well, that's a very profound statement from Matthew over on YouTube in the comments. About being on the right path or the wrong path. And well, actually, how do we ever know, Matthew? The thing is, is we've just got to investigate all of the paths, I guess, haven't we? To see what works and what doesn't. Some very interesting things starting to happen now over there, which I'm really excited about. But I think we've got time. Let's do a time check with my... Thank you, Les Knight. Thank you, over on Insta. We're 47 minutes in. So let me check with my colleague, Buddy. So, uh... If we're 47 in, let's just do a quick uh, a quick vote. Who would like uh, to see this very, very quick painting I want to do over here? Let's just uh, let's have a little vote. If nobody wants to see it, we'll pack up and go home. But if you would all like to see it, one more painting. Yes, let's have a yes or a no. Please vote when you see it appearing on the screen. This is only for everybody watching on YouTube. If you're watching on Instagram, you can still give me a yes or a no. Let's see, who wants who wants another painting? So we're going to give it now 60 seconds. Just while I tidy things up, I don't, I will need the black, I won't need the pink. So let's just give myself a breather for a second while I figure out where everything is and what's happening. Uh, will I need silver? Quite possibly. I'm going to need silver and gold. Now I know Henry and possibly Robert and a few other of you have been talking about the blue. We're going to hit the Suarez blue now. Uh, but if you all decide you don't want to see it, of course, we won't be doing anything. So I'm going to leave it to you guys to tell me whether I should be doing any more painting tonight or not. I've got one more canvas cut. So you tell me, is it a yes or is it a no? Oh, and I found my paint can opener. Even if we do nothing else, it's been a win. Right, paint there, paint there is good. The blue is good, let's get the lid off. So, buddy, what are we looking like so far with the voting? 100%! Oh, well, that's got to be good, isn't it? Right, okay, let's let's stop it there then. Nine, 100% yes, in that case. I'll make one more hot cocoa, says Henry. Or count us in, will you? <laughs> Right, okay. Oh, Denise has got a broken pipe. She needs a plumber, mate. Eh? Can you help her out? Well, I would have, but I've got no tools left now, I'm afraid. Aid his former life as a plumber for 25 years. 
We, uh, we commiserate with you, Denise. That's no fun for anybody, is it? Um, right, OK. In that case, then, folks, here we go. I'm going to count three, two, one, and we're just going to go for it. Shall we do it again, buddy? Shall we just do it? Do it! Just do it! Yesterday, you said tomorrow. So just do it! Make your dreams come true! Nothing is impossible. No, what are you waiting for? Do it! Just do it! Yes, you can! Okay, here we go. Here we go. You said you wanted to see it. Now I'm going to show you why we've got the extra bits of canvas at the end. It's a bonus. It's only week two of the new year. And we're already doing all this kind of stuff. My goodness me, what a year it's going to be, folks. We're busy as anything. Tons of new things in the pipeline. More innovation coming your way. And look what we're still managing to do every single week. We're pulling it out the bag. Here we go. I know what it needs to look like. I just don't know if I'm going to have enough paint to do it. Let's find out, shall we? <laughs> because this is going to be tight. This is going to be tight. I want my other one. Where's my other one? Ah, there it is. Oh, we're going to move with the semi-gloss now. That's going to be fun. Where is my jibber jabber? There we go. Right, that's the black. Silver is next. Let's get one of those there. So we're going to move Rome Cam. Insta's fine, mate. It's over here. We've all got a good view. Let's move Rome Cam over so you can get a better view over here. Right, okay. You tell me, buddy, can you see that okay? Uh, tell you what, let's stick it over here, right? Can you see that? Okay, yeah, because we're going to be stood up in a minute. I'm giving the game away. This is what's happening. We've got one more blue to put in, everybody. So I'm going to go one at the top, <laughs> one through the middle. Okay, that's good. And believe it or not, I can't believe I'm going to do this. This is the right one. I think we're going to put a yellow in it. A ye no, a lime green. We're going to put a lime green through the centre of it, folks. That was what. I, that was it. I remembered now. We're going to go one lime green through the centre. This is going to make or break it. Oh, I don't know what's going to happen now. I'm not going to go with the copper because what I got planned, it's not going to flow down the canvas enough. So we're just going to go. Let's go through there. Let's go through the middle. This is going to be fun. Oh, no, actually, let's have one down here. Who cares? There you go. Right. We're going to have a little skadoosh of thinners. Pump, 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 pump. On we go with the thinners. This is just going to help break down uh, the paint a little bit. Let it flow a little bit more. We are going to be using a little bit more thinners in just a moment. But for now, I'm just going to run over that with one of my most favouritistest tools, which is... The squeegee, if I can get it out from behind here. <laughs> right. Okay, where are we, buddy? Are we on uh, PTZ? Right. Let's give this a little move. Nice. Oh, yeah. Let's move that now the other way. Nice. Excuse me, everybody. Move it that way. Lovely. There's lots of paint. Let's move this one down. Oh, yes. Nice. Right. I'm loving it. Now, key to this is to scoop it all to this end. Just don't know if this is going to work. It's a bit of a risk. Right. That's fine. Now, I've just got to add the white on. This is the crucial bit. This is the crucial bit. Right, okay. Oh, just hit something behind me. We're going to go one there. And we're going to go one there. And we're definitely going to go one there. We've got greens and all kinds of things happening at the moment. I think I need a lime up at this end as well. All right, okay. A lime and a gold. Just bear with me, folks, because you don't want to miss what's about to happen. Let's get that one down there. And... Oh, come on, can. 
Why did I just jam the lid back on? Silly boy. And this is the piece de resistance. So this is the bit. The make or break. All right, I'm just going to pop a line there as well. Help it on its way. Right. Okay. <laughs> okay. Here we go. Now, I'm going to have to do this blind. I'm not going to be able to see what's going on. So this is going to be fun. It's going to have a good spray. So you guys are going to have to be my eyes and AD as well. Now, Instagram, I'm definitely going to have to move you guys around here because you do, I can't let you miss this, can I? I have to see. Uh, yeah, probably... I don't know, actually. No, because I'm going to have... I think you probably have to see it on PTZ anyway because I'm going to use this canvas at the end here, mate. All right, buddy. So if you've got the shot on the PTZ, I'm going up. That's what we're doing. We're going straight up now. Right, here we go. Three, two, one. <laughs> now then, is it going? Now I can see a few bits coming off at the bottom. AD is now feeding into my ears how many tendrils we've got. That's the technical word. <laughs> so, uh, apparently it's looking pretty good at the top, which is great. Really, I need to get a mirror in here for this kind of thing. Um, so I'm going to have to then make a decision on... <clears throat> how this gets uh, maneuvered for the second run back. And now, what can you see on Roman Cam? Do you want me to turn it a little bit? Right. Andy's talking to me now about, uh, yeah, which what what's happening on the front. Yeah, so I'm just telling Ed that what I can see is what so you can see uh, that the white is moving very slowly but turning almost blue, I believe. And that's sort of getting a little bit smoother. Don't see sort of heavy amounts coming off and something at the bottom. Yeah, there's a few drips there. Let's get zoomed in. Let's zoom in on that bottom. There we go. See the drips coming down now. And let's see what movement we can see in this. Obviously, the air from the extractor is moving it around, but let's go all the way to the top. Oh, there's Ed's hands holding it. Let's see how long you can stay there. Right, no, everybody, let's don't. go. Let's, uh. let's, 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 let's go. Now. I'll just leave the camera on. And I'll oh, stop. <laughs> Rotter. Now, when I put this down, I'm going to walk to the other side and drop it so that when yeah. I reverse it, I'll still be back well, on this sheet. Give your arm to rest. So bring it down. Have a look. Okay, yourself. here we go. Here we go. Let's turn it. Turn it back down. Oh, that's that's quite pleasant, isn't it? Hey, I like that. That is interesting. Right. Okay. Sweet. So, uh, for the return journey, then let's see how we get on because this is really crucial. Now we're going to have something really nice at the end of this. Yeah, thank you, Henry. Yeah, open your paint before you do it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> thank you, Jackie. Yeah, it's a good technique, isn't it? Yeah, well, I haven't really got a lot on the shoes, actually. Uh, yeah, interesting. Right, I'm going to give that a good douse. Now, uh, I can be quite liberal. Uh, with this. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to help this along a little bit. Uh, let's just think which way the white's going to go. So let's pull this this way. There we go, because it's going to be quite dramatic now when we when we pull it the other way, folks. So if you like the one before, this is not the one you want to miss. Okay, let's just make sure we've got coverage. Quite pleasant. Look at those three, those three streaks across the sky. The three demons. We're going to try and meet yeah, they are phantoms, Lynn. Yeah, you're right. We're going to try and introduce that very, very small right down in between. And we're going to send one down this way. 
and see how far that gets. The gold should sort itself out, but I want a streak of gold right down that center just to break things up a little bit. Uh, right, things are starting to happen now, folks. It's talking back to me. I suppose this is where the copper would come in, but the copper's so thick, I've just got no chance. Mm, that should be okay. Right, I uh, think I'm just going to go for it now, mate. Right, do I, the lime's okay. The lime will sort itself out. The white's going to go. I'm just talking this through. That's going to streak down there, but what's important now, it's imperative, isn't it? I get it all the way down to the bottom. This is going to be fun for my arms now. <sighs> These have, ab have absolutely... It's all got to move now. Right, are we ready? Here we go. Three, two, one, go. I'm just looking down, I can see I can see my shoe. Oh, so that's on your left. I can see green and blue coming off. And hopefully on the left, he just says I can see gold dripping off. Right now, Aidy's comms to me have gone. <laughs> So he's just going to change a battery. I'll keep talking. He's back again. Okay. So that gold has certainly made it all the way. That's for sure. Now what, let's have a look up at the top. What's happening with the whites? Uh, uh, yeah, the the whites. additional whites, how far have they gone? I'm going to say we're at about 45%, maybe 50%. Okay. Mm -hmm. What about the lines? What are the lines actually looking like? Ooh, looking nice. Looking smooth. Smooth. Yeah. All right. Going to do a bit of zooming in for everybody so they can see. Okay. It. I've probably got about another minute before I'll need to drop well, it down. Your arms fall off. Mm -hmm. Yeah. About a minute. Mm -hmm. Nine. No, stop. Fifty-eight. <laughs> I hate you. Fifty-nine. No. Fifty-eight. Okay. Yes. All right. Cheers. 50. That's looking pretty good. It's right. Just the white is almost. Finally, to the bottom has a slight blue. Your right hand side is coming off now, just has a light blue color. Center is pulling a little bit. Right, I'd say pop yourself down, have a look, buddy. Right, we'll pop it down now and have a look. Ooh, I kind of like that. That's nice. That's nice. That's got that's moody, isn't it? I'm glad I didn't put the yellow in that. Actually, let's move that out of the way. Let's straighten him up and have a look, see where we're at. Two completely different artworks tonight. Uh, that's what I wanted to do. Just wanted to do something a little bit different. We haven't done before. Let's just get that moved out. Right, now I'm going to try and move this out without disturbing it all. Yeah, that's fine. Now, interesting look. We've got a few ripples coming. Oh, actually, I, I like that. That's good. That's, that sings. I'll get it on Rome cam in just a sec. And I've got paint I need to sort out. That's got to go on there because there's paint on the back. Um, so we'll stay on Rome cam just for a second. Um, go away, paint can. Right, gloves off. Okay. Master bedroom over the bed. Love, where's all the... Yeah, let's have some thumbs up. Goodness me. Come on, guys. Let's have some more thumbs up. Thumbs up, everybody. I'm just about to give you a look at that because that's developing right in front of our very eyes, looking really nice and uh, and awesome. But let's have some thumbs up, guys. That would be amazing. Thank you so much. And remember, if you haven't subscribed already, please do give us a nice big press on that button that says subscribe. And remember to click on your bell icon, then you never miss any of our updates. Now, also remember, we've got lots of our patrons here tonight. Thank you so much for being here. You can go check out our Patreon page. That's patreon.com forward slash Suarez Art. Dead easy. Go treat yourself. Go and get in with all the exclusive updates before anybody else gets them. We do fresh videos every week. It's just exclusively for our patrons only. And if you'd like to find out how you can get one of your original 102 uh, Suarez tiles, then we'll show you exactly how to claim yours. And in a very short period of time, you could be the owner of one of these very, very exclusive original works of art. 
which we're giving away to all our patrons. There we go, guys. Thank you very much. Would you like to go and see what we've just done? Of course you would. Let's get AD to pop us over onto Rome Cam, and we'll have a look. We'll also do that for you guys on Instagram uh, in just a moment. Let's bring you over there so you can actually see what I'm talking about. And things are changing as we speak. And Joe's got to go. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, right. Oh, my goodness me. Wow. How close can I get? Do you know what? I can literally see individual metallic flakes. Let's follow the line. Look. Look at what's happening. This is the beauty of this technique. Just when you think you've got all the lines you want, and trust me, I could just leave the lines, couldn't I? Uh, if it was hung up and they'd all be straight lines but you know what you can't always have straight lines sometimes you just got to have some fun look at what's going on now look at the line just when you think these are trees at night yeah let's go over here oh hello mountains sand dunes anybody layers of the sea rock strata we've got a stormy night going on what have we got up here it's all going on up here guys i don't know where to look for the best and you thought it was just lines? No, 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 no. This is Suarez. It's never as easy as that, is it? There's always something going on. <laughs> These paints never, ever cease to amaze me. It's changing even as we're looking at it. Look what's going on down here. There's a great big spot appeared. There's more spots of blue. It is like Jupiter. It's like looking at Io from Jupiter's surface. And what's going on here? Look at all these. That was one of the last whites that we put in. Look, the, the phantoms have almost disappeared. Isn't this gorgeous? How multifaceted, multi-layered, interesting. Uh, out of just a series of lines with a nice technique like this. And look at what happens. Even as we speak, folks, it's developing. All this darkness is suddenly just transposing itself into the light. Isn't that extraordinary? And as we go around the other side, let's have a look at that metallic gold. Because that really is, now it's thinned out quite extraordinary let's move down onto the base this is where we put the last of the gold in if you remember they're all starting to break up and run into each other it is the i just think it is like lapis lazuli as ad just said look we've got the mountains and the hills and we've got the sea and we've got strata and we've got storms and we've got night time and we've got rocks and oh my goodness how much could you see in that that's turned out really well. You can see why I love lines, can't you? What a happy thing. Five colours, two turns, two flips, and boom, there it is. Cult of gaming, where are you been? You need to set an alarm <laughs> so you don't miss it. We're almost at the end, look. Right, you've been very patient there, Instagram. Let's give you guys a look. Uh, who's joined us? Um, who was that? Sorry, buddy. Elmo Sebastian from Brazil. Hello, Bente. Uh, Wilkinson Hall Limited, hello. Creative Verb, uh, Crazy Call Art just joined us as well. Let's see what kind of close ups we can give you over here. Look, lots of things happening. This was just straight lines just moments ago, and everything is starting to change with these beautiful and amazing stratas. Art underscore boo boo, hello. And this is just how good this is. Now, I will tell you that where we've got all these ripples, you might like to know, is where the canvas is actually starting to ripple because of the volumes of liquid that actually it's starting to ingest. Um, so we take advantage of the fact that it's a porous material by letting it crunch and crisp and do all these things. But what you get out of it is truly phenomenal. So I think we're going to leave that absolutely where it is because it's epic. Let's have a little look around at where we came in. We did this crazy melee of awesome things. I'm leaving that now because I love the fact that it just explodes from the canvas. There's two very, very happy paintings for week number two uh, of the new year. I think that's pretty cool. Let's pop you over there, Insta. Well, what did we all think of that, folks? Have you enjoyed that? Um, absolutely beautiful, says V. Hi, Seismological. Is that supposed to be seismological? <laughs> I love the second painting, says Rita. Uh, Elmo, congratulations, they're incredible. Thank you very much, Elmo. We really appreciate that. Um, God bless you from Matthew. Thank you, Matthew. Seismo, I thought he was, Henry. Uh, thank you, Denise, as well, for your kind words. What do you reckon, guys? Have you enjoyed that? I really hope you have. Please do give us a nice big thumbs up before we end the broadcast. But I think 
that's us done for one day. We can't wait to show you those as they dry and cure, which we will do that on social media at some point. Remember, our patrons get it first. If you are interested or curious, there's a link down in the description and one over in the chat messages. Well, that's it from us for this week, folks. We hope you've enjoyed your entertaining hour or so from the studio here at Suarez HQ. We've had a blast. Two great works of art. I think you'll agree that's turned out to be a pretty good evening. Right, just leaves me for to say a massive thank you to AD Outside in Control, who's done another spectacular job. Let's have some uh, rounds of applause and some thumbs up for him in the comments. I'm sure he'd appreciate that. Doing this week after week, just as I do. Oh. Uh, Call to Gaming, don't worry about working late. Okay, we're only jesting with you, okay? It's fantastic to have you here. You can watch this on replay. Because we've done two amazing things tonight, but we're glad to see you working hard and, and doing some really cool stuff. So thank you for being here anyway. We, we do appreciate it. Just as we appreciate all of you being here, thank you for your time this evening. And uh, we can't wait to do it again next week. Next week, folks, for those of you who have only just joined us, is going to be the Spinomatic Week. And we're making Halo paintings. Yes, I can't wait for it. So set your alarm, set your reminder. You don't want to miss that. It will be epic. A completely overused term these days in the world, but trust me, this really is going to be pretty amazing, and I can't wait to get going. That's next week, but this is this week, and in between time, folks, stay well, stay safe and healthy, and we can't wait to see you back here in one week from now. That's it from the pair of us. Have a very good evening, and we'll see you again next week, 7.30pm GMT. That's London time here in the UK. Farewell from us both, and we'll see you again soon.